Hey guys, welcome to Mowers and Blowers Outdone. I'm Rick, your host, and we are at a live auction. We are going to uh, do a little walk around. Uh, we'll talk, chat, and uh, we'll see what's going on. So uh, this big consignment auction has been raining like every day this week. And uh, it's awful wet here, so not much parking. But we have uh, looks to be about 500 people, six between six, 700 people maybe. I know I got a bid number. I'm 500 and something. So uh, I know uh, there's at least 500 and over 500 people here, even though it's wet, damp, and, and raining. They've already started some auctions going on. They're auctioning off all kinds of stuff today. They're going to have vehicles, snowmobiles, tractors, boats, you name it. They auction it off. Hey, let me flip the camera around. We'll do some walk around and uh, see what's going on here at the auction. All right, did it without disconnecting. <laughs> Woohoo! That's a win for me. So, uh, yeah, you can see, say muddy mess here. Usually there's parking all over here, and uh, they got this kind of blocked off. Some of the trucks brave through it because they're not going to get stuck, I wouldn't imagine. But uh, here's the lineup starting right here. You got this tow truck for sale. Everything down this whole line is going to be for sale. Auction off today. Some of it might have a reserve on it. Some of it might not have a reserve. And uh, that's what they'll be doing. So you can see, usually when the auction goes on, this is all cars that are just parked right here. So we have to park way back in the back, or we would park over in the field over here. And uh, there goes a car. Let's see if that one needs to be pulled out later <laughs> to get stuck in there. But like I said, all kinds of stuff here, man. This is just a, uh, I don't know, I'm just lucky to be here in this town where it's close enough where I can go to and see, be able to uh, get some stuff and resell it. So what have I been up to? So I've got a couple series going on right now. I have the story series. That's my series where I actually try to create a story into, you know, not just a boring uh, fixing video. Because, you know, once you fix one lawnmower, I mean, how many carbs can you clean, right? Show you how to clean a carb. You get, I, I believe it does get a little boring. But, uh, I know you do run into some issues that are, you know, maybe different on each car, but so I created this little theory to uh, just give it some kind of story. So like the electric lawnmower, I created the whole story of, you know, finding it on Facebook, going up to the person's house, picking it up, fixing it, and then it was actually sold at one of the auctions here. So if you go to the link and see that auction, you'll actually see it, the end of it, where it was sold at the auction. Here's a nice little snapper. You know, I've had a couple people ask for these little lawnmowers like this. And uh, 
I don't have one. I've had a couple in the past, but, you know, I guess they have, you know, a little smaller yard that would be good for that type of stuff. There is a sweeper back. Those are always fun. And so you hear, I don't know if you can hear that. Somebody's trying to start a tractor up here. Let's go check it out. Get it, get it on here. Have a nice little bucket on it. Can't really talk over the stretch running, I guess, but you can take a gander. It has a rotor tiller on the back, and it's all working. So you can, you know, try before you buy. Is that what they say? And uh, if they start, you know, it's, a, it's better if they start. That way they bring more money when they come out here. Something doesn't start or doesn't run, probably going to get less money for it. There's a old Ford. Had a couple of these. I still have one, actually, for sale. What else? So, oh, the story series. So I'm working on the story series. I have, uh, you know, it's been raining, so some of my stories are out, take place outside, so I can't film too well outside. So that's on pause for a minute until I get some good weather to uh, do the story. And just to, if anybody's out there listening, the story involves one of my small engine buddies. So try to give you a clue. <laughs> That's his laugh. If that came across. So we will look forward to the story. And then I am starting a uh Backyard Fixes series. So the Backyard Fixes will be, you know, me actually repairing some of this stuff. Got the Kohler Courage twin cylinder in there. People seem to like Cub Cadets around here. I, I bought that one without a motor at the auction. Got to find a motor for it. A nice old simplicity. All right, where were we at? I'm getting lost here. So let's walk down here. I got to walk around mud puddles. You see, quite muddy. But uh, anyways, uh, the Backyard Fixes series will be starting, so I'll do a bunch of little fixing and tips and tricks on uh, lawnmowers, and could be mopeds, whatever. And then I do have my uh, auction, auctions and live auctions, and then what else do I have going on? Special editions. So I do have special editions coming up that will uh, include stuff like an RC car. So that'll be a fun one. We have some four-wheelers, normal builds here today. The nice X mark. These are always good machines. Got the weight in the front. Here we go. There you go, buddy. Get you one of these. You like the snow snow blowers? Get your Arian's uh, 
Long stretcher. I've sold one this year so far. Let's see what's under the hood. Got a brig under there, and it's missing the label. Probably, but it said Arians on it. So, standing in the mud. There we go. 19 horsepower. You see this. There is a model number on this. Yeah. I like them. Four wheeler. Honda Ford. All right. What else do we have over here? We have a face. Look at this. Face crackers of America. There's the combination. So whoever buys this, you will know the combination. Cabinet. That looks like that's going to be a popular one, guys, with the road color on there. People checking that one out a lot. So that one's probably going to bring some good do re -mi. Now, everything but the... All right, here we go. People buy anything out here, like I said. Take a bath. They sell shrubs. They sell plants out here. This will be a hot commodity. Commodity. This is uh, MS441C. Steel is where we are in steel country. They they like steels around here. Jack can. Mm -hmm. Wagon wheel, tractor wheel, yep, tractor. What else do we have? More shrubbery. Now that, I can't even whip that. I know I'm not that strong, but. Yeah. No, that table's heavy. That is a solid metal table there. Nice workbench. We have these brush hogs pull behind tractors. Boat motor? Never got into boat motor. Hope I'm not walking too fast. Hey, Rusty Rooster. Sorry, I got to pay attention to some of the uh, people in the chat. Yeah, I'm looking to buy something good, buddy. A lot of good stuff here. Oh, here's your... Uh, this was at the last auction I was at, and it only brought like $25, so they held it back, and they're going to sell it at this auction if it brings more. So it is a gravelly. I always say that wrong, but a sickle cutter. So it's like a, a keeper. Good thing, man. That could make a nice scary movie. 
that thing coming at you? Wait, what do we got? What are we looking at? What do we got? What are we looking at? There you go. Arian ST724. Only if Jason was here, he could probably work his magic and get this running. Gas only. So is that trying to say don't pre-mix anything? That's what I'm guess guessing. Or maybe they had some diesel diesel uh, no blowers. I don't know. Why they would put gas on them. Or maybe they have some two cycle snow blowers. So they wanted to put gas only on it. What? That's it. Just wonder how good, like I said, how good these things work and run. Hey, David. Savage. We have nice roll to kill. Missing the covers. I always hate when they are missing things. So where are you going to find that cover at? And if you buy that cover, some that thing's going to be what fifty bucks or something stupid. If you order one to find a used one somewhere. That is the downfall of buying stuff. And then your weight on the front is broken. So they're up there auctioning off. Mark brings the big truck out and he's up in the truck. So he oversees everything and can auction it off. So that's one half of the auction. And then they have a bunch of trailers out, setting out, that they're auctioning all kinds of stuff off of. Right here, 20 bucks on the drop, there, 20 dollars. There's the owner of the auction, Mark, up there. $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, $10, on the sprayer drops, guys, that's five dollar nail, five dollar nail, two bucks. Two dollars on, three dollars, three dollars, four, we go four dollars on, four, four, now, five. And they have a second auction here going on over here. So they're doing that trailer. So they're holding up the item and then they'll auction it off. So you know what item you're bidding on. That is Ron. So. Who is the option here? Right right there, like I said, they auction off, they get this stuff here. And what we came to find out that these are some people, return pallets, anything you see with these stickers like this. So somebody around here buys these return pallets. And then they uh, bring this stuff out here to auction off. So they must be doing a good, a good job because they keep buying them and selling them. Let's go back over to the beginning over here. Nice rototiller. So how the auction works, for some of you that have never seen this before, so they... You bring stuff out, line it up here, kind of keep rows so people can walk in between stuff and look at it. And then you have a number, so there'll be somebody out here that meets you. They will uh, assign a number to you, so lot 120, 
So anything with 120 on it is the same owner. And then when they auction that off, they put it in the computer, lot 120, and they know, hey, it's Richard's lot or whoever's lot it is. And then they send out checks and get paid. For that. So that's kind of how that works. They sell anything out here. You're cleaning out your garage. You got your old grill. So, and believe it or not, they, you know, they sell stuff like this. Somebody might buy it, or maybe they need this lid. Maybe they scrap it out. So, all different types of uh, people that would, you know, be interested in that. Maybe it only sells for a dollar. Maybe it sells for five, ten dollars. The grill I brought out here on, on the auction that I did, I think it sold for ten dollars. And I picked it up free on the side of the road. Five. Chainsaw Mark. Now, see this. Right. So they got wood out here selling. So you guys see that was Chainsaw Mark back there. That's the nickname we gave him out here. He likes to buy chainsaws. He buys everything, but. He does like to buy chainsaws, and I see uh, David from DNR. Welcome, David from DNR. Look at this little sled. That was some kind of exercise equipment. What did they say on the 159.95? What do we got out here? I don't know if that's for sale or not. It's a side by side buffer where you would strip and wax floors. Good. Get a bonnet for it and then bonnet your carpet. So clean your carpet with it. It's a side by side. They do have an ongoing sale of barrels we burn here. So you can get, get one of these barrels at five or ten dollars. Cut the top off and then drill some holes in it for water and make it a burn barrel. Then you can burn your stuff. Here's a product. What else do we have? Pressure washer or power washer. Right? Power washer. So, you know, a lot of times what happens to these is people leave them water in them and then they freeze because we're in Michigan where it does get below freezing. And then they bust the pump or that crack and then they leak water. So usually what happens to them, sometimes you get lucky. High school generator. Or is that a radio? No, it is a radio. Does it have a power supply with it? It probably does. It looks like it's been around the block. So a construction worker. All right. What do we have right here? This is a gag zero turn. <laughs> Looks like it needs a little bit of work. If somebody did some work to it, pulled the engine off of it. You know, and then uh, we did take a gag and, and uh, put a Herbert Freight engine on this gag. So that can be done, ladies and gentlemen. Carver freight engines can go on to the tag. Here's one in a little more more better condition. Is that, is that how you say it? The best condition? Better than this one. They got the wheels off of this thing. They got the engine out of it. I don't know what they're thinking. Somebody started it, said, started it and gave up on it. That's what I'm going to say. Do 
that could be interesting because you can make big money on these uh, turf tigers. Time cutters. Hey, Dick Small Engines here. Thanks for stopping by. Everybody who's here stopping by. Here's a nice little zero turn. I think it needs a new uh, flap on it. Huh? Yeah. What do we have on here? Oh, no. The famous curd. It looks like it's setting crooked, too. Is it even attached or not? Oh, maybe they got the top off of it. That's why it's crooked. Yep, they got the top. So, obviously, something happened to it that uh, it's not working any longer. These are easy to put motors on, though. So, I mean, any of these lawn tractor motors will fit right on there. So not too bad of a fix, just as long as the hydros are good. It's just about falling off of it. Yeah, this one's seen better days, too. No blowers. Craftsman, yep. MTV. What? Here we go. Have some different attachments with this one, so you can cut down some trees, small, small bushes. Whole lineup. Uh, get a good overview of it. Whole lineup of uh, weed whackers, rototiller, edger, push mower, another rototiller, snow blower, this pile of tires. So we are doing a walkthrough of the outcome. That's what the slide part is here. And, uh, hey, William, how are you doing? There's a nice motor looking. Does it run? Yeah. Twins. They're nice motor. There's a Bowens without one. Not trying to get the little kid in my video. So. Trying to stay away from him. They sell everything. You know, people buy these buckets. You'd be surprised that people buy the buckets. Here's another uh, vacuum chipper. What is it? I think it's a chipper bag. Um, here is a uh, grass catcher. It says Sears on it in the tag, so probably off of a craftsman, which probably said an MTV type style mowers. All kinds of good stuff out here. So these box lots, you know, sometimes they'll dig through there and find a particular item, or they'll just sell the whole box lot. Like I said, if you're cleaning out your garage, cleaning out your shed that has accumulated a bunch of stuff, find stuff on the side of the road, bring it out here. That's the stuff I think I saw 
So, if I remember how to uh, send out a link, I'll send out a link and see if anybody wants to come up here and join me. If I disconnect everybody, well, sorry, it was fun. But I will attempt to send out a link. Invite a guest. So copy the clipboard. Copy. We're doing good so far, guys. Now, the only thing that I would like to see StreamYard do is where I could put the link directly into StreamYard right here where I can see your guys' chat. I don't know if there's a way to do that where you have to go to YouTube, start the channel up, and and then do like I'm chatting and then insert the link. So that would be something good if they could just be able to insert the link just like that. But if not, let me go to YouTube. See if I can start that up. All right, hold on a second. And hopefully I don't disconnect anybody. Double feedback. Yep, double feedback because I'm on both. Here is the link. So there we go. Pause that off. Start this back up. And there we go. There is a link if anybody wants to join us live. That's a link. So now the little girl is gone. And look at this bowling that needs a motor in it. You had the four number? So, I don't think that motor was in it, but, uh, and I know that one wasn't. I don't, think, I don't think a Bowens would come with a clean cylinder. Walk up front here, see what's going on.
what else do we have? Look at that. That is interesting. So we will go check that out. So let's stop for a second for station identification. So you guys are watching Rich with more than blowers outdone. And I am live at the consignment auction. Couple of razors. I wonder if anybody gets, gets uh, cut with a leather shirt. All right, everybody don't laugh. Okay. All right, what is this interesting looking thing? This looks like a looks like a chair. Man, where would you find that? I know, like in some old scary movie, right? They put you in there and kill you. But uh, maybe a barber chair back in the day, a uh, in a psych ward chair. Uh, I can think of uh, that movie, Todd Sweeney movie, where they put you in there and, you know, you're supposed to get a haircut. Now, if this was red, that would make it look even better. What is the other movie? Man, I can't think of it right now. I have to think for a second what the other movie was. What do we have up here? Look at that telescope. Nice big telescope. I wonder if we can see to it. No. Budweiser, and you could see the Clydesdale, and then they would have them in the parade. They would have the Clydesdales at the Monroe County Fair. Nice padlocks are always uh, people interested in. You know, and these uh, old uniforms, nice collector's items for people. Do 
see what we got out here. Take a lot of Interesting. Baseball cards. Now, you knew your baseball cards and say, hey, this one's worth money. Be something to uh, buy. But you'd have to really know your baseball cards. What is this? V8? Cases of V8? Hot and spicy. Sounds like rich. <laughs> Made myself laugh. All right. Let's see what we have here. Alcohol, because no great story begins with someone eating a salad. Hold my beer. (laughs) And then we have the story. We don't dial 911. But for your daughters out there, I guess a man could be a bit softer. Everyone is entitled to make a mistake, not abusing the privilege. So, making a lot of mistakes, you're abusing the privilege. Hold the, hold it, hold it, hold it. We have the greatest football team ever. There we go. Now you know. Yes, I'm a Steelers fan. A wife and a steady job have ruined many good fishermen. Sounds like a sounds like a true, factual, accurate statement. Wireless earbuds, call candy. There you go. So this must have came from. Some box lot. There's a, looks like the Home Depot sticker. You know if Home Depot sells that kind of stuff or not? Probably yeah, construction yeah, workers yeah. buy that. Come in and get, get some uh, earbuds while they're working on the job. All right. There's a link out there. Hey, doctor. Doctor, doctor's in the house. Hey, there's a link out there if anybody wants to come up. You can chat. They're auctioning off these uh, wagons, so I'll be here a minute. We're not going to get to the good stuff for later. We'll get all the all that off of here. So, what do we have here, gentlemen? Crossbows, guns, everything. So they will be auctioning off all of these. I think this will make my channel better than Longmore. Guns. All we need is some dogs. Yeah, man. Doing your live stream? Yep. How you doing, buddy? All right. Where's the coin hunter at? Here we go. Cajun coin hunter. We'll get this for you, buddy. Oh, 
And they have a food wagon. Alright, what do you guys want to go look at while we're waiting around? We can go watch a little bit of live auction they got off that wagon. Let's go check them out and see what they're selling back there. He's still selling. Mark's still selling on that wagon. And Mark usually goes out to the stuff out there because he's the owner and he tries to get as much money as he can because the more money he gets for an item, the more commission he gets. So I don't blame him. I'd be trying to get every last penny. Oh, they're doing another wagon out here. All right, we'll move on. Got your fireplace the screen right there on there. What do you get for that? Start among you. Five, I go. Five, where? Five, 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 the barn and let's see what's in here. So we have shoes. Now this is this looks like more of a flea market type thing where you can just buy stuff. So this is new where they have stuff set up where you can actually buy. Some big boobs in the bed. Wonder what size that, that is, guys. Know if I can show that on YouTube. I don't know. Oh, yeah. About 134 days, make these ones. The letter open. So they are here selling flea market type stuff, so it's all laid out so you can buy. So, bag of 17 flavors, big fuck. For one dollar. I don't know how anybody can starve in America because if you got a dollar, you can eat something. What are these? Ooh. Right here to go all the body work tools, right here to go all the body work tools, right here to go all the body work tools, right here to go all the body work tools, right here to go all the body work tools, right here to go all the body work tools, right here to go all the body work tools, right here to go all the body work tools, right here to go all the
I see Trailman. I have to come back here. Come back. See what Mark's up to. He's getting this all cleared off. He's moving on pretty soon. buy something too heavy, they can lift it up onto your trailer for you or into the back of your truck. Like we saw in the last live video, wasn't there a guy bought, bought a lawnmower and he lifted it up, put it in the back of a truck for somebody. Now how he got it out, I don't know. Tom! Hey, buddy. So these are everybody probably out waiting for all this stuff right here. So this one they brought actually out on a pallet. So they can lift that right up with the bobcat, put it right on your trailer for you. Simplicity 100, or is that a 7? It's a 7. Back when they made stuff good, though, guys. Look how small that mower deck is. It's got to be like a 22 or something. And then it has these fine attachments with it. So your rototiller and your no plow. So when you, when you went there, this is what you bought. It's more like a garden tractor. So you could uh, mow your yard, plow the snow, till your garden, all with one machine. It has a striper kit on it. Look at that. Built-in striper kit. Make those fancy stripes in your yard. I don't know what size deck that would be, though. Battery actually looks newer. Can't read the tag. There's a tag right there, but can't see it. And then people bring their own four-wheelers. They bring their own golf carts out here to ride around instead of walking. So he's got his own golf cart. Let's walk down the cars and trucks aisle. We didn't really get to look at this. Kind of pointed it out at the beginning of the video because I started up this way. But they do sell vehicles here. How you do that? Put those on there. Mm -hmm. 
2004. How you tell what year it is? Unless they've removed that. Like it got in an accident and then they had to replace that and remove it. Never put it back on. I just happened to uh, be driving my wife's vehicle and uh, got a wrap chip in it just yesterday. So, how that goes. And yes, I'm stepped in a mud puddle. Oh no. Nice little trailer. Here you go, Jason. All you need is a nice little trailer like this. Put a lawnmower in it. And they do, you know, they make uh, little trailers that actually fold up. So here's some boats for sale. The last time there was a big auction, the boat, boat sold for like $100. So, wonder what these will sell for. Ford Ranger. Yeah. 222,000 miles. They got the, it comes with three snaps. Oh, nothing in there. Empty. Must have been oh, a crayon. See that? Probably crayon, not pink. Usually they rip out right here. So that's unusual that it's ripped over there. And the beds are fiberglass, so it's not gonna, that's not going to rust. But your tailgate is metal, so you're going to rust on there. Nice little bass boat. Gotta watch where I'm walking. Walk into a mud puddle, I'm watching the camera. 95 Ford, four by four work. AC and heat work. Motor and transmission rebuilt at 120,000 miles. New transfer case, Posi drive rear end, no rust. Sounds like a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. If all that stuff is true and accurate. Three times to shut the door. There's no rust on it, so that's accurate. Let's see the tailgate. So in, up here in Michigan, this is where it rusts out. You can see the bubble in right there. So underneath, we get the salt here in Michigan. And the bumper is rusted out. So they said no rust. No rust on the body, they could say, right? The bumper has rust. But it looks clean for being here in Michigan. What else do we got down the line? We got a van, and then we are in farm country, so they sell this and all this stuff here. Hay wagon. A nice looking hay wagon. Here is a van they're going to auction off. 
snowmobile trailer, buy a couple snowmobiles and put them up on this, buy this trailer. Then you got your farm equipment out here. All right, lot 32 down there, you got that up. Here comes Mark behind me. Where is he gonna start at? Way down here, probably. Here's your hay wagon. Fill that up with hay. Here's your horse trailer. Buy some livestock here. So they do sell livestock at the auction. All right. So the good stuff's going to start. And I'm at my hour. So I'm going to go hit the restroom. And uh, might be able to get some footage I can put up later. Well, the live stuff that we're bidding on. How much things go for if you're curious. Flip the camera around. There we go. Hard to see the screen out here. Hey guys, we're back. So uh, that was kind of our live walk around and get over here because the crowd is coming this way. They're getting ready to uh, auction this stuff off behind me. Now I got the camera faced the wrong way, but Mark is up there. Started on this little side over here, auctioning some stuff off. Right there to go, give me a 25. 25, anybody got 25? By the way, anybody got $10? $10 times $10, buy. Five, so it's seen so Tom Mark walking in. All right. So, hope you guys enjoyed the walk around. And uh, we'll be here for a little while buying some stuff. Trying to buy, trying to bid on some stuff. And uh, we will see you at the auction. It's rich with more than blowers. Outdone. You're pretty good shape, guys. 25. Yeah, 25, I mean, we got 25, I mean, we got 10.